Hi, I'm Darren with Norstead Landscaping, and I want to show you what I've got in my garage, the 2019 VT70 by ASV. And I want to do a quick review on this machine before I send it out the door. Um, I'm picking up a, a replacement tomorrow, and we'll get into that in a minute. But first, we're going to get into this. Okay, so VT70. This is a 74 horsepower Dutz 2.2 turbo diesel uh, vertical lift. That's the only one that ESV has in their lineup. And uh, it's a great machine. 2019, this is just like the year before they came out with the new Max Cab. And we're gonna see that one tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna tell you the pros things I like about this machine and the things that I ultimately made me want to get rid of it after only a hundred hours. Now, I guess I'm an ASV fanboy, but uh, so I can't really say anything bad, but being a fanboy, I guess that allows me to point out the flaws and you know, they're trying hard to correct their mistakes and I think they're doing a good job going forward, but I got stuck with this and I had to take a pretty big hit, but let's get into it. Okay, so this machine uses the same track system as their other uh, models, such as the RT65, uh, RT60, which is no longer in production for North America, even the PT60, very similar to that as well, and also the PT50. This is a two-speed system. Um, again, that's the hub motor here, and, and we'll probably get into more about the tr uh, track system and the bogey wheels, and they may be even doing some servicing and upgrades to other ones that I have. So you'll see uh, some of that on other videos that I'm gonna make in the future. Um, now, with the vertical lift, uh, very similar to the RT65. Uh, basically, the RT65 stops here, the arm comes to about here, and this is the vertical lift, which allows this machine to lift a good 500 pounds more than the RT65. And it also can lift higher because the RAM's inside here instead of in between here. Just for you people that are shopping for an ASV, you won't need to know that. But the reason why I'm getting rid of it, well, one of the reasons, there's three major reasons. One, the weight. It's 500 pounds more than the RT65. And the other problem, and then that's, the 500 pounds comes from this piece up here. So basically, once you take that off, you're losing about 500 pounds. The other problem is visibility. As you can see, it's got these huge blind spots. And for the type of landscaping that I do, I work around people and I'm working in close proximity to buildings. So again, visibility is a big issue in this machine. Again, they're trying to correct these issues. They got uh, on the 2020, they got a backup camera, which I still think is a bit of a gimmick. Not this one, doesn't come with it. Um, and of course the new cab, but the new cab isn't gonna solve this problem right here. Okay, so I'm gonna take you over here. Oh, the nice feature about the um, RT series, um, basically I think from 2007 or 19 and on, they have these new handles on the arms. Well. These are great for chaining your machine up to the trailer. It's a great idea, but you know, it's a great idea. It's an upgrade compared to the old D-Links that used to be underneath, up underneath here, which you know, you try to get your hands in and a big greasy old chain, you got grease in here and yeah, it's not great. But this, great for chaining, it's on the ex exterior. The downside to this, and I don't know if they thought about this, but uh, when you're working, it's, uh, not anywhere in your line of sight is the operator can't see this handle sticking out a good four and a half inches off the machine. And when you've got this arm up in the air and you've got your attachment hanging here and you're doing your work, well, you got this handle way up here that you can't see and you might just hit your project that you're working on, which, yeah, I'll confess it happened to me. Eh. So again, it's great for one thing, but bad for another. So what can they do to make this better? I think if ASV chops this off, well, just doesn't put it on and made a smaller version, 
and basically attached it from here and looped it back into here, well, problem solved. It's inside your arm, so you're at less risk of hitting it. Well, yeah, I think that will work better than this. Okay, so this machine here is a high flow, which is an upgrade from if anybody's got the PT, the RT60. This is a great feature. And the, uh, the great thing is the RT65 also has a high flow feature, which is auxiliary pump. Get your, uh, your flows from 21 gallons per minute up to well over, I think it's 32 gallons per minute. And that's another great feature. Now this one's the high output. Now, if you're shopping for a VT70, be aware, anything pre-2019, if it doesn't say high output, that means you've got the Kubota engine, which was anemic on horsepower. And that's why they upgraded it. So be aware. This one was a basically a test bed to get where they are going now, which I think they got on the right track. But for all us other suckers out there, I had to buy this machine and anything before it, like the VT series, were not such a great machine. One, the Kubota engine had lack of power, so it wasn't great. And this one here, I don't know if I told you, has the 74 horsepower three cylinder turbo diesel Dutz motor. And we're going to take a look at that in the back uh, right now. I'm going to open. Voila. Okay, so there you go. Everything opens up. You got fiberglass doors here, accessibility to, uh, I believe that looks like the hydraulic filter. And uh, is that a coolant filter? Not sure what all the filters are. I'd have to look into it. I haven't got that far yet filters over here as well quite a few actually and here it is great accessibility compared to the earlier machines that in itself is a little scary because I never worked on my older machines I never touched the motors uh, maybe did the odd uh, oil change obviously but um, I haven't actually opened up any of my motors they're all functioning perfectly so the fact that I got to open all this up scares me because <laughs> well everything's computerized so uh, did they do this because you're going to be working on this in the future I hope not but we're gonna to have to find out okay now the other thing I uh, notice here is the uh, newer machines they don't no longer have the trailer receiver which I was a good feature I could move my trailers around the a uh, large work site or behind a house, places you couldn't take your pickup truck. I could get my trailer closer to the job site. Well, now I'm gonna have to add that onto here. Well, there's not much to see in here, but we'll close it back up. And there it is, all closed up. Now, again, another thing that I don't really care for in the new machines, the older ones have a big counterweight back here. So if you back up and hit a tree or uh, bump into somebody's fence or whatever it is, you're not going to do any damage to the older machines. However, this one, there's nothing protecting it back here. So if you hit something, you're pretty much scratching and denting your, you know, brand new machine. And that could ruin somebody's day. It would definitely ruin mine. So that's another downside. We're going to have to live with that going forward, but that's what you have to do. Okay, and the last thing I want to show you was the interior. Let's get in there. Okay, so we're now in the interior. And you can see the new machines here. With the, the great thing about the new these cabs are they're sealed compared to the older ones where it's sealed. And the dust would, there's less dust getting in here. Um, but they also didn't really make this door removable. And that was another downside to this particular cab. Now again, they dress this in the, in the Max series. And we're going to see that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, the, the door is harder to remove. Um, the nice thing they added was the cup holder was a great feature. Um, still splashes a little bit, a bit, little bit big. I don't know why they couldn't put like a, something in here to, for different size cups, but that's what it, you get. Um, okay. Well, the one thing and the, the final straw for these, this machine going back and me getting a brand new one with only a hundred hours on this one was the fact that the throttle is up here. Not so much that the throttle's up here, but the thing is, is that every other machine I own has a throttle pedal down on the floor, down here, which keeps me from having to take my hand off the bucket control. So if I'm operating the machine, I'm moving it with this one, and I'm operating the bucket with this, and I'm backing up, 
uh, and, and I'm grading at the same time and I need to pivot, I need to throttle up while I just hit the pedal. Well, I don't have one in here. I have to take my hand off of this, reach up over my head, which is inconvenient and just, you know, do, do this all day long, and hands over your head and you get to mess with your throttle. Then you get to do work again. Oh, then I don't need all that throttle. So I got to throttle down Well, I got to go back up here. Well, it gets repetitive and boring and stupid. And that's the final straw. Sorry, ASV. This machine is gone. Lucky you fixed the problem and I'm buying another ASV. But let's talk about the sound system or lack of, because who uses the bloody sound system in a machine that's loud? They say it's quiet. I don't get it. It's not that quiet. And, you know, most operators wear a headset, the Bluetooth headset, and they stream their music in using their phone. So ASV ditched the stereo and put in a, well, if you got rid of these things here, you could put in a, a phone holder, a wireless phone holder, and that way it's charging and I can listen to my music. I don't need the whole this, all this stereo. Think of the money you could save putting that in. Okay, so I'm not even going to get into the display on this. It's uh, better than, well, it's not bad. It's not great. It just, it's a display. And if I turn this on, you're going to, you're going to hear a bunch of noise. Um, this was a big problem in, in a lot of their machines after 2015. I'm not sure what other machines had it, but uh, you can't see the second speed light. It's just this uh, lens is too dark or doesn't allow the light to pa pass through. And in fact, my, some of my older machines, I've taken this lens right out so I can see the green light and that works a lot better. That's a tip for you people that have these older machine or this, these machines with this, uh, this type of uh, LED lighting. Um, the other problem with this machine compared to the other ones is the continuity with the buttons. I get in my, uh, RT60 and the buttons are all backwards and I always have to look and read and figure out what's what. Um, I don't even think they got this in the right spot. Again, maybe they got somebody new over there at ASV, but they should really think about their operators transitioning from one unit to another um, because I got three of them. So could you imagine me getting into one machine and it's got different controls than the other machine and I'm using them, well, on a daily basis. I get into three machines, three different job sites. So that's uh, my little rant uh, for today. Um, yeah, so if you have any comments on, uh, on this video, by all means, I love comments. Uh, tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Um, we're going to see other videos. I got the, uh, RT 65 max series coming tomorrow and it's fully loaded. So we're get to play with the seats and everything. Oh yes. See, they've improved the, uh, the, uh, air conditioning and the heating and, and the new one as well. Cause this one is okay. And, but the older ones are even better. And basically what I want to do with this channel is for anybody that's looking for an older ASV, uh, you're going to get a lot of good information on repairing those and keeping those in service. They're really good machines. Uh, anything with two speeds, I think. Um, machines I don't care for in the ASV lineup, well, obviously the this machine, the VT70 HO 2019 and, and older, well, they're just not practical for me. That's what I'm trying to say. They're, they're a good machine. Uh, the machines I don't like are the PT50 um, because it's one speed and really anemic on the horsepower. Um, people find them underpowered, and they are, but it's what you, you get what you pay for. Uh, the two speed's great, uh, and we're going to see a lot more of the uh, PT60 and the RT60, and again, RT65 Max. So stay tuned. Um, let me know in the comments what you like. And please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.